In this video, I'll be showing you how to bridge funds from Ethereum mainnet to the Gnosis chain. If it's your first time, I'll be walking you through the entire process. To get started, there are a few things that you need to keep in mind. If you want to bridge funds, you need to have some Ethereum on mainnet that will be used for gas in order for you to bridge your funds. You also need a token that you want to bridge. If it's your first time using the Gnosis chain, I recommend that you use DAI. And the reason is because when you use DAI, and bridge DAI from Ethereum mainnet to the Gnosis chain, it gets converted into XDAI, which is what is used as gas on the Gnosis chain. So if you're bridging funds, I recommend to bridge DAI from Ethereum mainnet to the Gnosis chain. You will need gas as XDAI whenever you're using the Gnosis chain. However, if you're bridging from mainnet to the Gnosis chain, any DAI will automatically get converted into XDAI. So you don't need any gas when you're doing this for the first time. However, if you're bridging from the Gnosis chain to Ethereum mainnet, so you're doing the opposite, so you're moving funds from the Gnosis chain to Ethereum mainnet, you will need some XDAI in your account in order to pay for gas. In this case though, if I'm bridging from Ethereum mainnet to the Gnosis chain, I just need the first two. I need some Ethereum to pay for gas, and I need the token that I'm bridging, which in my case is DAI. There are many bridges available for the Gnosis chain, in this example, I'll be using the XDAI bridge, which will let me bridge funds from Ethereum mainnet to the Gnosis chain. In order to get started, I just click connect my wallet. It will let me connect my browser wallet. I click connect, and now my wallet is connected. I already have some funds on the Gnosis chain, but if you're doing this for the first time, you might see zero here. So what do I want to do? I want to bridge some funds from Ethereum mainnet to the Gnosis chain. I could bridge any token that's compatible on the Gnosis chain, which are most of the Ethereum tokens, at least the popular ones. But in my case, I want to bridge DAI since that will be converted into XDAI, which I'll need for gas. So I recommend to always start by bridging DAI in the beginning, especially if you're doing it for the first time. So I don't have any DAI now in my wallet, so let me get some. Since I don't have any DAI in my wallet at the moment, I will swap for some. Just for simplicity's sake, I'll use the MetaMask swap feature. So in MetaMask, I'll click swap. And I'll swap some of my Ethereum that I have for DAI. If you don't have any Ethereum, then you can buy it off of an exchange and send it to your browser wallet. I'm going to convert just $5 worth just to show you how this works. So I'll click review swap. I'll convert 0.005 Ethereum into DAI, which is $5.579. And gas is not that expensive now. It'll cost me also $5. So total, I'm spending more than $10 to show you this. And basically, I just want to swap this in order for me to get DAI in the end. So I'll click swap. And it'll take a couple of minutes. I'll just speed through this. And now once the swap is complete, I can see that now I have DAI in my wallet. So what I want to do is I want to send this DAI from Ethereum to the Gnosis chain. I already had some funds here before, but in your case, you'll probably have zero here if you're doing it for the first time. So I want to send all of this to the Gnosis chain. So I'll click max. I'll send all of this DAI and I'll click transfer. It will have me confirm and it'll tell me how much it'll cost me. So it'll only cost me about $1 in gas from my Ethereum. I'll click confirm. And it will start with the bridging process. This might take a few minutes since it needs to confirm 20 blocks. But once it's done, I'll have my funds in XDAI. It'll tell me here how many blocks are left. So as I mentioned earlier, it takes 20 blocks to bridge these funds. And it's telling me there's 18 out of 20 blocks left. So sometimes this takes a few minutes, maybe five or 10 minutes at the most. But after that, you'll have your funds on the Gnosis chain. I'll just speed through this part. Once this process is done, you'll now see your funds on the Gnosis chain. Now I can go back to Giveth and participate in the Give Economy using the Gnosis chain.